Whoa. <laughs> Starting a short road trip today, jumped on the ferry from Vancouver, heading over to the Sunshine Coast of British Columbia. Brought the e-bike out, got the Da Vinci e-Troy with Shimano motor. Figured on a short solo trip, might as well get as many laps in as I can, especially when all the climbs are pretty much just endless fire roads. That's enough chat for now. Let's ride some bikes. <sighs> Dropping into hand solo. Jump trail. <laughs> That's a sick little jump trail. Oh, apparently we're not done yet. Whoa. That's a scary one. Okay, too big, <laughs> too big. Okay, I gotta sit down. That was insane. Today's video is shot with the Insta360 X3 camera, which I mounted to the chin bar of my full face helmet for POV footage. The X3 captures a full 360 degree field of view, which you can reframe later so you always get the right angle. You can also pair the X3 with the invisible selfie stick, and then you can get creative shots like this that look like they were filmed using a drone. If you want your own X3 camera, you can use the link down in the description, and you'll get a free invisible selfie stick while also helping out the channel. All right, dropping in on Built to Spill. Woo! <laughs> it's a lot of off-camera wet roots. Wow, <laughs> what a sick trail. Ooh, greasy, no thank you.
<laughs> what a beauty. All right, let's go find 2001. Have a good one, guys. Whoa. <laughs> this trail's called 2001. Based on, I guess, when it was built. Or the era that it was around in used to have a ton of amazing woodwork. <laughs> Whoop. It was even decrepit when I rode it for the first time about three years ago, but they've been doing some new work on it. Let's see what's left. Pay tribute to a fallen stunt. Aw, oh, missed the double. Ah. Oh. Whew. Landing's missing a little bit of dirt, but not too bad overall. Not easy to maneuver an e-bike up on this. <laughs> there we go. Classic, classic line. Got a big chunk of dirt in my mouth as soon as I took off. Not bad. Not bad. Is that my tire? Huh. Did not have as much extra extra room as I had thought. What a sick line. This trail back in the day, I'm telling you. Something else. All right, drop done. Let's continue on. Check out the relics. <laughs> Should have started riding earlier. And all this stuff was in style and in one piece. Huh. That's cool. Let's do that again. Right, drop it into DNZ.
<laughs> what a sick trail. Dropping into I Trail. I met the builder of this one a couple times. His name is Dale. Trail building junkie. Big thanks to Dale for building this and many other trails out here. I think I took the wrong line on that one. Wow, who says a blue trail can't be fun? All right, while I catch my breath, real quick bike check. Got my DaVinci E-Troy Shimano EP8 motor, 750, is it megawatt hour battery? Five dev cranks, 155 mil. I went with the shortest crank as I could find, just because on the e-bike, it's really about cadence. Plus you get a little bit more clearance when you're pedaling. Beautiful gold, five dev pedals, super grippy. SQ Lab saddle 611, same as I'm running on my enduro bike and gravel bike. And 5 dev, 32 mil titanium stem. This is actually a size medium frame. If you can believe it, I sized up on the e-bike while sizing down on the enduro bike. So I tried to make this a fairly small medium by having that short stem on there just to bring the effective reach down a little bit. Up front, got a mud hugger fender. Keep these things on all the time because if you're filming, you got to keep the mud off. And a couple people have asked me about my new brakes. So I'm running a set of TRP DHR Evo brakes. You notice the levers are different. So this is the stock lever over here. And one of the issues I have with this lever is it doesn't come in quite as close to the bar as I would like. So this is an aftermarket lever by Freedom Coast CNC machined, and you can set it much closer to the handlebar. If you look at your hand, this is the natural resting position. So I try and keep my index finger and as close to that position as possible just to minimize fatigue and that lever allows me to achieve that position. I find it has a little bit less leverage compared to the stock TRP but again if you have smaller hands or like to run your levers closer to the bar then uh, the Freedom Coast levers are a great way to go. Otherwise you'll be fine with these ones. That's enough chat. I'm obviously able to breathe again. Let's keep riding. <laughs> Uh, it's a little bit of chicken wire on here, but it still looks pretty greasy. <laughs> I love a good uphill log ride.
Alright, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, you can pick up your own Insta360 X3 through the link down in the description. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.